Hello and good day everyone. I am Wilfred Empeño Efe and I am a business administration student at Northern Zambales College Incorporated. So, for today's video, we're going to discuss the school life of Rizal as an Athenaean. This is the chapter 3 of Life and Work of Rizal. Before Ateneo, there is some unfortunate event that happened. First is the injustice to Hero's mother, June 1872. Teodora Alonso Mercado was suddenly arrested on a malicious charge that she and her brother Jose Alberto tried to poison the latter's wife. And then, two family friends betrayed them and forced Teodora to walk from Calamba to Santa Cruz, a distance of 50 kilometers. She was imprisoned for two years. Rizal as an Athenaean On June 10, 1872, Masyano accompanied Rizal to take the entrance examination in Christian doctrines, arithmetic, and readings in College of San Juan de Letran. And then his father changed his mind and decided to send him to Ateneo. The Jesuits opened the Ateneo to everyone without any racial and financial discrimination. However, screening of applicant was strictly observed. Rizal was almost denied admission because of poor health and short stature. Magin Ferrando, the school registrar who refused to admit Rizal because of some reason. Rizal was late for registration and he was sickly and undersized for his age. So, tulad no sa ibang universities, kapag nagkakaroon ng problema, gumagamit tayo ng connection o yung tinatawag natin, backer. So, para sa mga company ngayon, um, mas napapabilis yung pag-hire sa atin kapag meron tayong connection sa loob ng kompanya. Meron tayong backer, di ba? So, si Rizal gumamit din ng connection para makapasok sa Ateneo. Guess what? Sino ang naging backer ni Rizal para makapasok sa Ateneo? No other than Manuel Ceres Burgos. Manuel Ceres Burgos is the nephew of Father Burgos. Ateneo is formerly known as Escuela Pia, an educational institution established by the city government in 1817 for poor boys in Manila. When the Jesuits returned in the Philippines, after a century of exile, the management of Escuela Pia, whose name was changed to Ateneo Municipal, and then later on, became the Ateneo de Manila. The class in Jesuit education is divided into two empires, the Carthaginian Empire, which is the externus or the non-borders, and the other group is the Roman Empire, consisting of the internos or borders. Each group had its rank. The best rank is the emperor. The second best is the trinu. The third best is the decurion. The fourth is the centurion. And the last is the standard bearer. Within the empire, the student was hired for the position by answering the questions for today's lesson. Any students may be at the end of the line, but if he study hard, he could become an emperor. Kumbaga, sa panahon natin ngayon, ito yung tinatawag natin classroom rank. Yung honor with high honor, mga ganon. So, sa kanila, emperor, decorion, centurion, ganon yung tawag. In Jesuits College, two empires were established to stimulate the student. The Roman Empire and Carthaginian or Greek Empire, constantly at war supremacy in the class. Whose leading posts are won by means of challenges, which are successful if the opponent committed three mistakes. Rizal was placed at the tail end of the class, 
because he was a newcomer and no little Spanish. So dahil nga baguhan si Rizal at wala pa siya, kunti lang yung alam niyang Spanish, um, nasa baba pa siya or nasa dulo pa siya ng, ling- ng klase or ng kanilang ranking. Ganun. After a week, he improved his class standing. After a month, he was already an emperor because he was the brightest in the class. Because of his excellent performance, he was awarded a saint picture as his prize. So, nakakagulat ni ba from standard bearer to emperor. So, ano yung ginawa ni Rizal para mag-improve siya? So, to improve his Spanish at that time, he spent the noon recesses in Santa Isabel College where he spent 3 pesos for Spanish lesson. So, is pahapiyawan ko lang itong vacation ni Rizal taong 1873. Um, he did not almost enjoy his vacation because his mother is still in prison. And he went to visit his mother in prison to, and told her of his brilliant grade in Ateneo. Second year in Ateneo, 1873 to 1874. He studied harder and regained the title Emperor. He received excellent grades in all his subjects and a gold medal. During his summer vacation again, year 1874, Rizal took interest in reading romantic novels. Isa sa mga nagustuhan niya ay ang The Count of Monte Cristo ni Alexander Domas. So, ito yung mga nagustuhan ni Rizal na basahin during his teenage year. Third year in Ateneo, 1874 to 1875, Rizal was not impressed with his scholastic works. Fourth year in Ateneo, 1875 to 1876, he became an interno. So, nasa Roman Empire na siya at isa na siyang borders or internos. So, si Rizal ay nagkaroon siya ng best prof, best professor sa Ateneo. At walang iba kundi si Father Francisco de Paula Sanchez. Father Francisco inspired Rizal to study harder and write poetry. And he became an admirer and a friend of Rizal. Last year at Ateneo, 1876 to 1877. He is considered as a pride of the Jesuits and graduated as a head of his class. So that's all. I hope you've learned something from me and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be notified on my next videos. Thank you.